Hello, it's Monday, September the 10th, 2012, and I'm Martin Smith with a daily outlook from UFX Markets. The US dollar declined versus most majors after a Labor Department report showing payrolls rose less than forecast, adding to speculation the Fed will undertake a third round of bond buying. This contributed to stocks finishing the trading week positive and setting the Standard & Poor's 500 index to the highest since 2008. The Dow gained by 0.11, the Nasdaq by 0.02, and the S&P 500 by 0.41. Gold gained by 2% on Friday for the second time in two weeks, hitting six-month highs as a tepid U.S. jobs report strengthened expectations of further monetary easing. Crude oil advanced for a third day to close at $96 a barrel. The euro posted its highest gains in six months versus the dollar after European Central Bank President Draghi pledged to buy bonds to contain the region's debt crisis. The euro dollar will remain bullish as long as it's trading above the 127 support level. The cable hit a four-month high versus the dollar on ECB plans and negative U.S. job data. In addition, U.K. industrial and manufacturing data showed that total industrial sector output rose strongly in July, supporting the British pound's bullish trend as well. The pound dollar is bullish above the 159.40 level and the pair may again test strong resistance at 160.60. Canadian dollar rose to a one-year high versus its U.S. counterpart as domestic employers added more jobs than forecast, bolstering speculation the BOAC will raise its target interest rate. Technically, the dollar CAD will remain bearish as long as it's trading below the 0.9820 support level. No economic data is expected today. Well, that's it from me. Be sure to visit us at UFX Markets for all your online trading news.